Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, I've got a video, sort of a follow-up to the other card overclocking videos that I've done. I just recently picked up a Gigabyte GTX 1080 and did the upgrade, I'm pretty happy with it. Obviously, always want to overclock, uh, so I did that and want to share the settings that I have, uh, some things that I feel like people should know when overclocking these cards and hopefully address um, some of the uh, the questions that I had in my previous video that I did for my uh, GTX 760, that was an MSI card that I did. Um, some new features with the uh, new GPUs from NVIDIA uh, that are worth mentioning. Anyways, let's jump right into it. Um, there are a couple things you're going to need. Uh, the first being MSI Afterburner. You don't need an MSI card to use this utility. That Not at all. It doesn't matter what card you have. Um, I'm also using GPU-Z just to get some quick at a glance information in regards to the specs of the uh, GPU itself. Um, the other thing that I would recommend you use, um, at least what I used, is Unigen Valley. Um, this is sort of a benchmark. Uh, it is not the most recent version of Unigen's series of uh, benchmark software. I believe the new one is called Superposition. Yeah, there's an ad for it right at the bottom here. Um, you could use that. Uh, I'm just using this because I had it on my computer and it still takes your GPU to 100% utilization. So um, if you don't have MSI Afterburner already, go ahead and take a look at the link in the description. That will take you to the page where you can download that. Sometimes it's hard to find because their site's kind of garbage. So um, once you find that, download and install it. Um, it's not going to look like this because the default skin is absolute trash. Um, so if you hit the settings button, if you can find the, I believe it's a like a picture of a cogwheel on the uh, the default skin. If you hit set that uh, cogwheel, you, you'll get this window here. And uh, you can go to the user interface tab. And I would suggest changing this option here to the default MSI Afterburner V2 skin. If you don't have an MSI card uh, under the settings here, um, you'll see that there's a lot of a lot of things that you should look over that you definitely should read. The important things that uh, you need to have done for this to work um, are one that you start it with Windows and you start it minimized because Afterburner has to be running to apply your your overclocks. As far as I'm aware, the other thing is this checkbox that says Unlock Voltage Control. Um, by default, that will be unchecked. Um, it means that you don't have any control over increasing the voltage. Uh, on your GPU, which you will need in medium to higher overclocks on your card. There is a drop-down box here. I believe by default it'll have standard MSI selected. I don't know the difference between standard MSI and extended MSI, um, so I can't help you there, but I would leave it on default if you do have an MSI card. Otherwise, if you have a reference card, I have a uh, three-fan third-party style. Um, I think most people, if you don't have an NVIDIA, uh, card or, or MSI card rather are going to be checking third party and that's what I've done. Now we've got a couple of things we want to look at here, um, namely core voltage, core clock, and memory clock. What I would suggest is taking the core voltage percent and putting it plus 100. Your card has a lot of added protection by default. Uh, the card has a target temperature and by default, at least on my card, and I'm pretty sure with the vast majority of these cards, it's going to be 80 degrees Celsius which is a temperature that you should have absolutely no problem running your card at. I would even argue that 85 is probably an okay temperature to be at. My card will hit 80 degrees and stay there, and the fan speed will change according to what it needs to do to keep it at or below that temperature. And that's really built in. The card is really good at handling itself, and if the temperature gets too hot, the card will take care of it. The next thing you're going to look at is the core clock. Uh, core clock will start at zero. I have it pl uh, set at plus 175, which is 175 megahertz. You can take a look at the GPU Z window. The default clock is 1607 megahertz, and the GPU clock at the top, which is the current clock, is 1782 megahertz, which is an increase of 175 megahertz. So, what I suggest doing with this one is starting at zero, increasing by 25 and running Unigen Valley while you do it. The uh, default settings here, DirectX 11, set it to Ultra. I run it uh, at 1080 because I have a 1440 monitor and I just leave it in windowed. And I let that run. After about a minute, two minutes or so, if I don't have any artifacting in the benchmark and it's not freezing, I call that good. Um, and then I increase by another 25 megahertz. And that's the process that I followed to get to 175 megahertz. I increase by 25 at a time. It's really that simple. Um, the next thing is the memory clock. 
you can sort of do the same thing. I did it in increments of 50. I started with 150 or so. I increased it by 50 at a time. The thing is that it's you can't really look for the benchmark to artifact or crash. You have to really run a full benchmark and take a look at your average frames per second. At some point, you, you're, you're increasing your memory, memory clock too far and you'll actually lose performance. The memory clock, if, if I put this at 800, I, I'm sure will run just fine, but it will decrease performance. So what you need to do is run a full benchmark, take a look at what your average frames per second is, bump it up by 50 megahertz, and rerun the benchmark. If the change was positive, keep going until either you run into crashes, writing down what your memory clock overclock is, and writing down what your average frames per second is, and finding out which memory clock gets you the most performance, because it is not going to be the highest number that your card will take. Fan speeds, I left at default. Um, it does a really good job of that. Uh, like I said, the target temperature is 80 degrees, and it does a very, very, very good job of staying at exactly 80 degrees all of the time. Anyways, guys, uh, that's been about it. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.